Today, I'm going to find out with curator Selena Hurley how a bed and a bicycle led to the creation of the Paralympics in another story from the stores. I recognise Stoke Mandeville from the Olympics. I'm, I'm guessing I know what this is, but uh, do you want to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> so basically what it is, um, it's a bed cycle, and it was developed at Stoke Mandeville Hospital by someone called um, Ludwig Gutmann, who you can see his name um, just there. Um, and he developed ideas that rehabilitation after an injury, or particularly after war injuries, should include like physical and emotional and kind of work. So it's basically a bicycle turned on its side? Yeah, so it's made of lots of different bicycle parts. We have um, the handles here, so you would pedal with your hands here, um, or you would pedal um, with your feet as well. Um, and there's actually a little speedometer here, so you can see how fast you're going. Um, you can set how long you would be going for. Um, yeah. and there's also a gear, so you can actually change the tension like you would on an exercise yeah, bike as well. Yeah, there's a lot of big, kind of twisty, physical things on this. Yeah. So what did this turn into over time? Um, so we know that this one was actually still used till 1994 um, really? at the Chasley Trust who um, donated it to the museum. Um, there's obviously lots of different physio kind of exercises now, like hydrotherapy as well, but you still have forms of exercise bikes um, that you use today, but you can just imagine what it would be like to lie down either on this bed or have this rolled over your bed uh, for your daily exercise, um, whether you wanted to do it or not. And Stoke Mandeville went on to start the Paralympics, is that right? It did. So um, there was the, they used to hold an annual games um, at Stoke Mandeville, which was developed by Ludwig Gutmann and his staff. Um, and the eighth version of that games kind of turns into the first Paralympic Games. So we have a great object that tells some really personal stories, but also has this much bigger link uh, to the Paralympic movement. 